Now we're going to see a man in the browser attack on Bank of America's website caught on video. A man in the browser attack is when your web browser basically gets possessed by an attacker. The attacker can capture anything you type into the browser, usernames, passwords, secret answers, anything at all. The attacker can also make web pages look different on your computer than they really are. They can add images or questions that aren't really there and then capture your responses. Man in the browser attacks are how a lot of people get their credit cards stolen and their bank accounts hacked. Now remember when you watch this, what you see is not happening because of a flaw in Bank of America's systems. We're only seeing this because my computer was infected. Okay, so let's do the same thing that we did before and try typing in a user account that doesn't exist. Here we type in test user BOA, select our location, and click sign in. This time we see the same error message as before and also a lot of questions. These questions are not really part of Bank of America's website. They've been inserted by the attacker. What does the attacker want to know? Well, as you can see, the page now says, we do not recognize the computer you are using. Please confirm your identity from this unrecognized computer. Then it starts by asking for your state and city. These are common questions designed to get you started filling out the form before raising any serious alarm bells. Next, the form asks for your ATM or debit card information. Would your bank's website really ever ask you for that? It wants you to enter your card number, expiration date, and also your secret code. And if you scroll down, you can see that there's more. It also asks for your social security number, your date of birth, your driver's license number, and your mother's maiden name. So what can attacker do with this information? Pretty much anything they want. Finally, at the bottom of this form, it asks you if you want it to remember this computer so that you can avoid answering your personal information next time you sign in. That's convenient. The malicious code that the attacker inserted even includes some very good error checking to make sure you've actually filled out the form with real information. For example, if you try to type in a dummy card number like 12345, etc., you'll get an error message telling you to type in a real card number. To fill out this form, I had to use a PayPal test credit card number that will actually validate properly. When you fill out the form and click continue, you actually get taken back to Bank of America's real error message. So the page we just saw with all the questions is really just a modified version of Bank of America's error page that the attacker inserted between the login page and the real error message page. What you just saw is commercial hacking software at work. There are businesses and organized crime groups around the world that invest in hacking toolkits like the Black Hole Exploit Kit just the same way normal businesses invest in web hosting, Microsoft, or Adobe products. Their business is to hack your computer and steal money from you and your company. And given the quality of the tools that they have, it's probably an investment that pays off pretty quickly.